On today's episode of Insights from the Farm, we're going to be talking about two real-world stories where farmers utilized a new mode of action as a part of their nitrogen program with Proven 40 and saw great yield results. One who replaced a portion of their synthetic nitrogen program, and another one that added Proven 40 on top of their variable rate nitrogen program and saw great yield results. Stay tuned to learn more. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Insights from the Farm. On today's episode, we'll be talking about a couple of farmers from Illinois and Michigan that utilized Proven 40 as a part of their fertility programs this year and saw great results, but in different ways. You know, as harvest continues to progress here, I think we're up above 90% across the entire United States. What we're seeing is that so many farmers are having great success having used Proven 40 to replace a portion of their synthetic nitrogen in their programs this year. In fact, on our Pivots Proven It website, you'll see that on average, farmers are replacing 38 pounds of their nitrogen program with Proven 40 and still seeing a 4.2 bushel per acre increase compared to their standard practice. Those are great results at aggregate on the national level. But today we want to dig into a couple of real world specific examples. And to do that, we're bringing in a special guest. Joining us today is Territory Sales Manager Brenda Marshall, who's going to be talking us through two farmer examples that she's been able to work with personally. The first one of those that we'll jump into is Drew DeSutter out of New Windsor, Illinois, and he was able to replace a portion of his nitrogen program with Proven 40 and still see great results. Brenda, thanks for joining us on the show today. Thank you guys so much. It's been so fun to work with some of these growers across the country. Uh, This one specifically out of New Windsor, Illinois, Drew DeSutter, he's used Pivot Bio Proven 40 for a couple years, um, and he's been in many conversations with me about it. And finally this year, I was able to get him to try to cut back some of it or replace some of his nitrogen, replace some at his uh, weed and feed or his herbicide pass. He was a little skeptical about it, but seeing these results kind of proved it to him. I would say his nitrogen program is he does fall in hydrus. He did 175 pounds of uh, nitrogen with fall in hydrus. And then in his herbicide pass, he typically does nine gallons of 32%. He cut that nine gallons out of the 32. So that's about 31 and a half pounds of nitrogen. Uh, He cut that out of that pass and had the proven 40 on seed in those passes and continued to roll with it. And throughout the season, he watched it. He sent me some pictures throughout the season and he'd text me and say, Hey, this still looks good. The pivot bio corn looks good. So that was really exciting to see that and to boost his confidence with it. And then when it came to harvest and the yield monitor, you can see right there, he was receiving great yields. And when he compared where he did his replacement passes versus non-replacing, uh, he actually boosted his yield a little bit in the replacement passes. So that even had him more excited because his text to me said, it was pretty neat. The replacement happened on the better side of the field, but I even boosted my yield when I cut back my nitrogen. And being a grower and a farmer, you think cutting back something, we're not going to increase yield. And he did. So that proved that the Proven 40 was working for him. So he was pretty excited. Dr. Ryan Van Ruckel, this this isn't the first time we've heard a story like this, right? Um, You know, when you really dig into the fertility program and start to think about the ways that Proven 40 can enhance that, uh, there's a number of different effects that it can have. Yeah, that's right. This is uh, an interesting example. They're they're all unique. With this farmer, that weed and feed pass was a pain point that they wanted to use Proven 40 to help replace. And a lot of times those can be applications, you know, done early in the year, uh, broadcast on top of the soil. You know, you do worry a lot about a lot of nitrogen loss there. And so the wonderful thing about Proven 40 on seed in this example, is every single one of those seeds has those microbes that can colonize the roots and fixing the nitrogen on the roots, in the soil, where they need it, when they need it. And uh, it's great to see it come through all the way to the end here with uh, tremendous results. Brenda, when you talk to Drew about uh, the 25 crop season, what's he thinking about doing from a proven perspective going into next year? I'd say he's going to continue to move forward using uh, Pivot Bio on his acres. He was pleased with these results, uh, increasing efficiency where he could cut out that nine gallons uh, with that herbicide pass. Um being efficient and being cost effective, it's a win-win. So he he's liking what he's seeing. Well, Brenda, why don't we move north for our second example, down to, uh, or I suppose I should say up to Coldwater, Michigan, where we you worked with a farmer that didn't replace a portion of his plan, but still saw great results from using Proven 40. 
Yes, Rick. This one is kind of cool. Uh, up in Coldwater, Michigan, Branch County, Michigan, this grower utilized Pivot Bio Proven 40, and he does variable rate nitrogen. And for the Proven 40, he did some tests on some different fields, and he's done that the last couple of years. And we continue to see success with him doing these tests on uh, individual fields, uh, putting it on top of his regular nitrogen protocol, his variable rate nitrogen. And we're still seeing a yield bump there, a yield boost when we're using it on top. So that's pretty fun to see. And as the, the rep continues to build that relationship with that grower, he happened to send a message to him. He said, you know, if we kept seeing these results uh, year after year with the hybrid, you would have switched already. So I think that's continuing to build that confidence with that grower to hopefully push him to whole farm maybe in the future. But uh, it's nice to see that Pivot Bio Proven 40, the on-seed version, continues to yield for this grower even when used on top uh, year after year. Yeah, Brenda, that's a great yield bump there. I'm curious to learn more about this variable rate nitrogen and the soil environment. Is he already dialed in at a really efficient rate on on a on a sandier soil, or or why do you think we're seeing such a big yield bump here in this situation? This grower works with a very reputable crop consultant, so their fertility program is very dialed in. So it's really neat to see, even with a very fine tuned program, Pivot Bio still being able to produce and perform. In that environment and i think it just goes back to you know different modes of action of nitrogen different nitrogen out there for that plant to continue to thrive yeah brenda that's that's a really interesting example and a really different way to to see a farmer utilizing proven 40 over the top of, of a variable rate plan and you know it seems like this is a farmer that's that's really looking to dial in their nitrogen they're they're trying to account for variability across the field you know, as, as you as you worked with them and talked with them, what were some of the drivers behind them deciding to add Proven 40 over the top of, of what's already a uh, an intricate nitrogen plant? Yeah, their, their nitrogen and their fertility program is really dialed in, but utilizing Pivot Bio added that other source, that other basically mode of action for nitrogen that, not saying we were lacking anything, but saw a benefit from it because we could provide another mode of action for that corn plant to continue to thrive with nitrogen from another source. Um, just really neat to see that boost and we'll continue to see if we can use that product in that situation and see if there's other fields or other parts of their program where we can continue to tweak it and maybe do some replacements uh, if it's right, if it fits in the program correctly. Well, it's always interesting to hear about these stories where farmers are really trying to dial in their program, they're testing, they're learning, uh, and really looking to optimize, right, by adding that additional mode of action to mitigate risks, to optimize yield potentials. So, Brenda, we, we really appreciate you joining the podcast today to share these stories and your expertise with us. Thank you guys very much for the time. And it's been fun working with these growers and seeing how Pivot Bio can prove itself to them. Well, Ryan, you know, moving on from, from Brenda's two examples there that were very specific, uh, that second example of farmers utilizing Proven over the top is not something unique that we've heard this season. And when you consider the season that we had, where we were very wet early, got very dry late until just recently, um, it's been interesting to see some of the results that farmers have experienced um, adding Proven 40 as almost insurance as another mode of action to their nitrogen program. So, yeah, Rick, that's right. When we look at our 2024 results so far, we actually have 52 different checks pulled in from across the nation. And these are all folks that are adding Proven 40 on top of their full nitrogen program. And because of all the rain that we had earlier in the year, we're actually seeing a 7.7 .7 bushel yield increase uh, across those 52 checks, which is pretty, pretty impressive. That That's going Iowa, Illinois, what do I got here? Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, pretty, pretty broad look at the Corn Belt there where we did have a ton of rain in a lot of cases, uh, but seeing, seeing some really nice yield increases this year. It's it's interesting when that plays out that way, right? Because we we recommend that farmers replace a portion of their synthetic nitrogen program with Proven 40 to, to see maximum value. But in a year like this year, Ryan, where it was wet early, it, you almost did replace a portion of the nitrogen program because of potentially how much nitrogen was lost due to environmental concerns. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. It's, uh, it's one of those things, you know, where traditionally... In agriculture, you know, more, more, more is what we always recommend or, you know, historically. But a lot of folks have kind of found with with nitrogen that that eventually you hit that diminishing returns and things really, really kind of flatten out. And so it takes a unique situation uh, to get a really big yield bump like that. And I, and I think that unique situation was the weather of 2024. Uh, so as we're sitting here planning ahead for next year, you know, it's important to know 
we have no idea what the weather's going to do next year. And, and you know, inputs are, are high. Commodity prices are, are tight. We don't want to be wasteful with our money or, or any of our inputs, which may include Proven 40. So it's important to think about how you want to choose to use this product next year. Um, it is not always that more nitrogen yields more. It's only when you have these, these periods of extreme loss. Yeah, Ryan, that, that kind of runs contrary to what some of the popular belief has been around just more nitrogen is is better, you know? Um, there, there is some limitation that comes in with that. And and really, when you start to add that additional nitrogen in there, you, you've got to think about the the other elements that are going to affect performance of the crop as well. To keep it nutrient themed, the corn plant does need more than just nitrogen. So we got to make sure we got the P and the K and the, and the sulfur there, all the other nutrients to go with the building blocks uh, of nitrogen to support more yield, you know, beyond nutrients too, there's just so many other things that affect yield. You gotta, you gotta have the rainfall. You gotta have, uh, you know, you don't want to have a drought stress. You gotta have enough late rains to, to finish that off and, and really capitalize on the extra nitrogen. You know, what we're seeing this year with the, with the big results of, of proven 40 used on top of a nitrogen program, that's an indication of, of a drastic need for more nitrogen. And a lot of that, I think, is coming from the extreme rainfall earlier in the year, where we just had way too much, lost that nitrogen. And so it's not always necessarily that we're adding more nitrogen to the plant. We're, we're making up for nitrogen that was lost, and that's nitrogen fertilizer that washed away. It uh, speaks to the value of adding an additional mode of action to your fertility program, right? It uh, allows you to insulate some of that risk and still continue to try to optimize that top end yield potential. Yeah, that's right. I think some people, you know, have a different uh, tolerance of risk than others. Uh, you know, some people may consider using Proven 40 as a form of insurance to make sure they don't run into a year like this where, where all their nitrogen fertilizer washes away. Uh, but it's important to know what you're getting into, you know. So uh, I think this is a good parallel to this would be fungicide response. So some years, you know, you have a lot of disease and fungicide makes a huge difference, just like we're seeing with Proven 40 in a, in a year where you need a lot of nitrogen. But, you know, there's other years where there's not a lot of disease. You're not going to see a lot of response to fungicide. And I think the same thing can happen to our product when you use it on top. The corn doesn't always need more nitrogen. And that, that's why we like to bring in that replacement piece. Uh, it really helps boost uh, the ROI for the farmer and, and make it a really consistent product for them to use year after year. It's another reason to get out there and, and make contact with uh, with your local Pivot Bio rep, right? Uh, they are nitrogen experts and can really help you to assess your current fertility plan. And where you uh, may be able to add in Proven 40 as an additional mode of action to protect that top end yield potential, to mitigate risk, uh, and to spoon feed the crop that nitrogen just when it needs it. And uh, they're also there to really help you think through what are those other nutrient needs that you may need to incorporate as, as you change that fertility plan around. I think it comes down to each individual farmer and having a good discussion and understanding your goals and, and uh, your risks and, and putting together the best plan for success for 2025. Well, that's going to end another episode of Insights from the Farm. Dr. Van Ruckel, as always, we appreciate you sharing your agronomy expertise. And special thanks to our guest, Brenda Marshall, who talked us through those great examples from Michigan and Illinois, where farmers are utilizing Proven 40 to optimize their fertility programs. If you'd like to see results from more farmers just like you, you can visit our performance website at www.pivotsprovenit.com and see both national and state-based results where farmers are replacing a portion of their synthetic nitrogen program with Proven 40 and still seeing the same or better yields. You can also follow along with the hashtag ProvenIt on social media to see farmers like you in your area and the results that they're having with Proven 40. We'll be back with another episode next week where we'll dig into more real-world stories about how Proven 40 is helping farmers to optimize their fertility programs by bringing a new mode of action to their nitrogen program. Until then, stay safe out there, and we'll see you with more insights from the farm.